Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Hindu Jr. and this is a let's play of Pokemon XD. Now, if you watched the last episode, you'll know that I cut that one a little short just so that I can keep it within the half hour mark. And then this is going to be the next episode where I go in and I beat the crap out of the Pyrite Coliseum trainers. So, all of them here should be in their 20s, I want to say. I'm pretty sure they are. So, should be a pretty quick thing. Hello, this is the Pyrite Coliseum. Would you like to enter a knockout battle challenge? Enter. You will enter? Excellent. Will you be entering with the Pokemon in your party? Yes. I'll show you in. I hope you'll try hard to win your challenge. Alright. So this is a four battle round simulation. Your Pokemon are healed between each and every fight, which makes that way easier than it really ought to be. Oh, he's the first one. How about that? Could you soar above my elegant dance steps? And there's the... The kick-ass music from Maror B. I can't help it. I love it. It's... It's a... It's really good music. Alright, so... Probably Psychic on Ludicolo. And Headbutt on Hophip. I know Hophip doesn't stand much of a chance. I probably should have used Psychic on it and then Mock Punch on the other, but... It is what it is. Hey, Breloom's level 33 now. Three to health and attack and two to everything else. Nice. Sudo So this is the this is a situation that only comes up when a wild Pokemon has failed to have been caught. However, I haven't missed a single one yet, except for one that didn't really run away when I beat it, and that was Nose Pass. The one that I ran into with Maror B shortly after my uh, snag machine was stolen. So, this should be the fight that I can get a hold of. Uh, oh, that's not what I meant to do, but uh, that works. Um, I meant to do Mock Punch, but yeah, it works either way. Anyway, uh, Nose Pass, yep, should be in his team, and that'll be the one that I can catch here. Makes it tough, because I think Nose Pass is particularly weak, comparatively speaking. I don't know if it's level 20 or if it's level 30. It might be level 30. That would explain the two locations that he shows up in. 26, okay. Makes a little bit of sense. Because the other place he was appearing in was, was Relgum Tower, which is level 40 limit. Or all the mons in there are level 40. You can go in there with whatever level you want, you want but... Since they're all at level 40, I honestly would advise that you at least go in at level uh, high 30s, low 40s. High 30s, you have to fight strategically at least. Low 40s, you should be able to go in and power your way through. So, Mud Slap and 
and Stun Spore should do the trick. Yes, Mud Slap should be super effective. No, it shouldn't take it out. That's the, the premise that I'm going for here. Yeah. I should be able to just seriously weaken this thing. I did not buy Pokeballs. That was a mistake of mine. Which means I'm going to have to weaken this thing greatly. It already missed. How the heck? All right. That works for me, I guess. Um, it is a rock type. Headbutt shouldn't do a whole lot of damage. But... Oh, of course it pulls a crit. But, again, it didn't do a whole lot of damage. That's, that's the thing. Oh, that pulled a crit too! What the hell, you guys? Quit it. Don't. Holy crap. They would both. He cannot hit Breloom for his life. Or she cannot hit Breloom for her life. Whatever. I just can't get over the fact that the two mons that I have would decide at the same turn to hit the same mon with a critical hit. God damn it. Holy crap. Alright, so that should be more than enough. I'm going to go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball. I can't imagine it breaking free of an Ultra Ball in yellow, paralyzed. I just, I can't. I, I hope to God that is the case, but... Nice, that works. Thank you. For once, the RNG gods worked with me. And in a weird way that I never would have expected. <laughs> My timing slipped. Oh, how vexing. Now, I could just skip the rest of this and go right into the game. But I'll at least show you guys what this is like once. They have different sets. So I think... So here in the Pyrite Coliseum and the Relgum Tower Coliseum, they have four sets each. And then I think uh, one of the other Coliseums that gets in, uh, introduced later on has six or eight, something like that. So, and these fights are relatively easy. Like, this guy's just got Chikorita, Totodile, and uh, Cyndaquil. That's it. So, we'll use Psychic on Chikorita, Mega Drain on Totodile, that should take care of both of them, and then it's just Cyndaquil. Who a Headbutt or a Mach Pudge will be more than enough to take him out. A hey, level 34 Boltoy. Four to health, one to special attack, and two to everything else. Jeez. Was it 34 or 36 that it evolved? I think it was... Actually, it might have been 38. Now that I think about it. So, 36. It is 36, okay. Wasn't entirely positive, and I didn't want to take a chance. So, Ancient Power, and we'll just go with Mock Punch. And we're done here. Next fight.
I took care of your perfect combo with two mons. You'll get over it. My golden trio. Okay, golden trio, whatever. It was still sad. The semi-final. You want me to beat me? That's not about to happen. Really? You seem to be very confident. I very much beg to differ that you're going to win this. Duskull and Talo. Alright, so... Okay, come on. My controller is deciding now is a great time to just not react. There we go. Alright. So, Ancient Power on Talo. Yeah, let's just go with Mega Drain on Duskull. Not like I need anything powerful to really take it out. Oh, okay, maybe not. Alright, fine. want to freaking be bulky as crap. Come on. Damn it! Really? RNG. Yeah, I suppose he went with me during the Mirror B fight, so of course he's not gonna work with me now. When I don't particularly need him. And there goes Disco. You know, Boltoid, now would be a great time to take out that Talo. Just saying. Of course I went for double team again. Of course I c couldn't hit the thing. <sighs> Alright. I'm trading out Baltoy, because Baltoy is not going to get crap done. Let's just send out Celio. If I did it right, I should have taught Celio Water Pulse, which is a guarantee hit. Right? No. No Aerial Ace is. Is Water Pulse a guarantee hit? No. No, they wouldn't give it that and confusion on top of it. So, I'm just screwed. Oh, hey there, I got the level up for Celio. Didn't really expect that, but okay. Three to health, one to special attack and speed, and then two to everything else. Cool. Ralts, huh? Great. Yeah, he's sitting over there using freaking evasion strats. Piece of crap. So, I'm going to go with Ice Beam on Talo, and then Headbutt on Ralts. Because I, I ain't dealing with that. Bye. Hey! Good going, Celio. There goes Talo. I think that's how it was supposed to be said, but, you know, I wouldn't have it up. So, yeah, fun stuff. You'll win this title if you can beat me. Bring it on, Jupex. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 
okay. This is this is another set of music that's just absolute. It's awesome. Oh, nice. Okay. So, let's go Psychic on Plusle and Mock Punch on Snubble. Super effective. Ha 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 ha. That's one down. Yeah, of course you'd have another one. Thankfully, I think they only have uh, plus and minus. I don't think they have their... I don't think they have the other skill. Yeah, Minin's more of a support, and plus has a little more towards that attack. They're still absolute crap, though. Didn't, didn't think it was going to be that difficult. <laughs> Excuse me. Oof. Wow, you're good. You've won the title. Yay. You get rewards for each one you finish. I'm not so sure how good they are or how worthwhile it is, but we're about to find out, I guess. Congratulations for winning your challenge. What a marvelous run of battles. Here is your prize money of 3400 That's definitely better than what I usually get. <laughs> so, granted, I don't think it's... I think it's still a low amount, her opponent. And then TM31. Cool. What is TM31? Didn't really care what she said there. Oh, Brick Break. Hmm. So that is way better than Mock Punch. And it has the added effect of destroying things like light screen and reflect and whatnot. So that would be a good one to have. Bullet seat would also be pretty good too, but let's take a look at that real quick. So Mega Drain's at 40. Bullet seeds at 10. Oh, that's right. This was before it got the boost to 25. That's stupid. Bullet seed is so much more worthwhile when it has 25 power compared to 10. So yeah, I'll back out of that. Would Brick Break be worthwhile? I do like Mock Punch. It's basically a fighting type quick attack. It's done me relatively well so far. So I haven't needed the higher power. But Mons are going to get much stronger this point forward. So I really ought to use this. But then the problem becomes, 
so the prongs cross chop is unreliable, but it is powerful. So long as I don't fall, it doesn't as long speak properly. So long as I do not rely on the prong to hit a fighting move. I think Cross Chop will be just fine for Zaprong. Breloom, on the other hand, I'm not sure she will be able to hold her own when it comes to fighting type moves with just Mach Punch. That's a 35 point boost to, dam to a damage. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and overwrite Mock Punch for Brick Break. It's just the better choice. Alright. Then I think that's just about everything. Alright. I'll see you guys back at the Key Sifter Lair. I'm not going to have you watch me walk all the way back over there. Alright, here we are. I just got back. We should be all set to go. I think there's a couple of fights up here still. Let's see, so... 36 is the level cap. Well, not like I'm trying to play by that anyway, but... It is what it is. Yeah, so I have at least two fights. One here, I think that's two Shadow Mons that he's got. And one up there, and I think he's also got two Shadow Mons, so... This is gonna be interesting. Above here is the factory's all-important control machine. I can't let you pass, even if it takes inches off my chest. Okay. Not so sure I'm going to take inches off your chest, but I'll definitely be taking your mons out. Golduck can hit mon top, huh? Alright. Things play out the way that I hope they do. Oof, that kind of hurts. This should go relatively well. Oh, well, okay. That didn't... I didn't expect that. Ouch. Okay. Eh. Regadrain will still do its job, though. Not as well as I was hoping it would, but... Still did what it was supposed to. Oh, you're using bulk up. You're... A bastard. I don't remember ever seeing that this early in the game. Or... Seeing that in this game. Because this game came out right before... Yeah, 4th gen. So, yeah, I'm surprised. Ooh, I got a special defense drop. Nice. Oh no. Oh no. Yep. Nope. There goes Breloom. Damn it. <sighs> Alright. It's a prong's turn. If my controller will allow me to choose him. Come on now. Focus energy. So you bulked up to increase your attack power. You focused energy so you can pull a crit just to die to a psychic. Nice. A lot of good that seemed to have done ya. Zaprong is now level 35. Three to special defense, one to physical defense, and two to everything else. Alrighty then. Hariyama who Psychic should be able to do a good chunk to as well. 
and then Thunder Punch to take out that Golduck that's very annoying. Thank you. And Venomoth. Which is a shadow. Great. That's probably gonna be a problem. We'll see, but. How many mons do I have left to deal with on his end? Nah. Yeah, does didn't think that was gonna do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, so he's got at least one other shadow mon behind in the back. So Venomoth is a bug and flying type. Should be, right? No. Bug and poison? Yes. Yes, I think it should be a bug and poison type. All right. So, I could use mud slap on it. And yeah, let's just do that. Ow. Yeah, okay. Bug doesn't... Bug isn't really affected by that. Oh, god damn it. I keep forgetting that Vital Throw goes last and does a crap ton of damage. Alright. Let's send in... Golbat. I think I could bite... That, uh, Venomoth without too many problems. I could use Wing Attack, but it's super effective. It would probably just take the thing out. Shadow Hold. No, missed. Drops their evasiveness. Alright. Yeah, this is going to be a long fight in and of itself. Arm thrust. Critical hit did nothing. <laughs> I probably could have left Hariyama alone, but I wasn't going to deal with it. So what's his other one? Weeping Bell. Crap. Alright. I don't have a whole lot of hmm. so Baltoy is very weak special attack wise I could use a psychic on Weeping Bell hopefully weaken it enough I should be able to throw a couple balls at it to try and catch it while I keep using Bite on Venomoth I'm hoping hoping that that plays out the way I hope it does. As long as it doesn't get a crit, it should be fine. Ugh, Shadow Rave. You're a bastard. Oh, yes. Oh, thank God. All right. So, now, so I got a couple of balls here. Uh, yes, haha. -ha. Um, I got 10 Ultra Balls because though uh, I'm probably going to use those more often than not. But then I also got a couple of Timer Balls. The Timer Balls in particular are specifically for end game, honestly. However, if I run into fights that last long enough, I will absolutely try and use one. 
Um, but the main idea is these get stronger the longer the battle lasts. So I'm kind of hoping that in the fight against the final boss, since he's got nothing but Shadow Mons, it's going to take a lot of time to catch even the first one, let alone all six. So even if it means the first two I have to catch with Ultra Balls, the remaining four should be monstrously easier with Timer Balls. That's the hope. I don't know if that's actually going to work. So, for now, we'll go with an Ultra Ball on Weeping Bell. And I'm actually going to swap out Golbat because it's getting very beat up and I'm not feeling comfortable leaving her out there. Alright, let's see what we get here. Nice! Weeping Bell was a one and done show up kind of guy. Showed up on the field, got hit once, and then sucked right into that Pokeball. That's awesome. All right, so now the hope is that I can just kind of slowly weaken it. It just keeps using Shadow Mist. I'm not so sure why. And it's worrying me a little bit. I should be able to use both Tackle and Mud Slap without having to worry too much. Alright. Yeah. Alright. That's, that's fine. Oh, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. I totally failed to notice that Venomoth had uh, compound eyes, which basically prevents it from getting its accuracy lowered. I did not realize that at first. Yeah, those Ultra Balls are very much coming in handy. Very nice. I am loving it. I have you beaten chest muscle size. Yeah, that's not saying a whole lot. We've been Mel and Venomoth were sent to the PC. Awesome. All right. And... In perfect balance, as everything should be, go figure, never thought I'd have to actually use, or never thought I got the chance to use Thanos' line. Last episode was a little short, this episode was a little long. Still balances out to about an hour. I'm alright with this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, all that good YouTuber stuff. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.